I have been trying to make this video sort of a catch up video on what I've been up to. So I just decided let's just come in, jump in, catch up, quick video, let you guys know what I'm up to, what I'm trying to do. So I'm back in New York now. Being here has allowed me to connect with so many different people and it's, it's just great because last year I was not in the, in the city. It was really difficult to meet up with people. I don't know if I mentioned this actually in a video here before, but we've been working on Codex. And so with Codex, we aim to build a library for curious minds, a curated library by acquiring the, only the finest books on the humanities and sciences, because we want to preserve this knowledge for future generations. Uh, because I found that in my research with classical drawing, most of the great instructional books are very old and they don't really make them like they used to. And so my expertise sort of lies in that area, but I'm hoping that soon with Codex, we can bring in people from all over who are experts in their field and they're able to help us curate books. But aside from that, I have been also thinking about what's next for myself personally in terms of uh, career. I realized after watching this documentary called Industrial Light and Magic, it's a really great documentary on, on Netflix Plus, not Netflix Plus, Disney Plus. I highly recommend that you watch it because it's so relevant. My point is, is that this documentary really clarified for me what I want to do next. And it, it's gotten me really, really excited. So I'm writing for Still Life. If you're interested in learning more about art, design, and just sort of life, uh, life things, life observations, if you haven't subscribed, go and subscribe. I'm still going to continue being active on this channel. I care so much about this channel and I appreciate you for subscribing. And I hope that in the coming months, uh, you will be able to see much more interesting things coming from here. I, I really do think it's important to get in front of the camera and document as awkward as sometimes it may feel or maybe the light's not right or the audio's not right or whatever. I think it's important to just like make up documentation for the journey that we're on. I see big things for this channel. I see big things for what we're doing. I see big things for the community that's forming around what we do. And so I'm really excited for this next chapter and I just wanted to check in and let you know that I'm still here and I'm looking forward to showing you what we have in store. Until the next one.